In German we say land. In Norwegian we say land. In Swedish we say land. In Danish we say land. In Finnish we say ma. They're different. No. <laughs> Hello. Hello! Hi everyone, my name is Svea and I'm from Germany. Hey, my name is Sarah and I'm from Norway. Hi, <laughs> my name is Svea and I'm from Sweden. <laughs> hey, my name is Azimin and I'm from Denmark. Hi, my name is Lotta and I'm from Finland. Yes, yes. definitely. I feel like uh, in Finland we know that we are very much different and that's why we always talk about like oh but everything comes from the same because there's language trees so German comes from here and then it continues there and here but then we are like a separate tree I think we have a lot of uh, similar words like Danish, Norwegian, Swedish maybe also from your country and also German but I think if we speak of like Danish and Swedish and Norwegian we have a lot of the same words but you say them in a little, in a little different way yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's Swedish, Norwegian, Danish is all Germanic languages, just like English. So there is yeah, a few like similar words and then I know at least Sweden had a lot of like borrowed words from like German. In German we say fenster. In Norwegian we say vindu. In Swedish we say fönster. In Danish we say vindua. In Finnish we say ikonat. I mean yeah. Danish and Norwegian were the same. Yeah, and Basically. Swedish and German was very similar, but then Finnish, of course, is doing its own thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah N Norwegian and Danish are the same. Vindur. Vindua. A little bit different, but when it's like words like that, we kind of get it. We can easily, like, ah, it must be windows. Actually, I, I, I like, was taught in school in Swedish that we used to say Vindaga, mm -hmm. but then we took the German Fönster. Ah. So it used to be more similar to you. Hmm. In German we say Würstchen. In Norwegian we say Pölser. Oh, in Swedish we say Korb. In Danish we say Pölser. In Finnish we say Makara. <laughs> we once again, I think we, and um, well, Danish and Norwegian is similar enough to like understand it's the same. Yeah. Pölser. Yeah. I think Sweden, it's like old Swedish to say pulsa. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I just thought it was a different type of sausage. I just thought it was like, oh yeah, it's like one type of yeah, sausage. Yeah, you could but... say other words too, I think. Like, it depends on what kind of sausage it is. Well, yeah, it sounds similar, you know, würstchen, pulsa, pulser. Yeah, it's like, you know, the u at the beginning, the v, p, it's like very <laughs> close. I would not understand though, because I would be like, uh -huh, what are you talking about? But it comes from the same origin, so it makes sense, yeah. And I think most people would also understand this, just like you said. Mm. If you read a lot of like sausage packages, it always says that if it's a specific type, I think. I have always seen that, at least. Yeah, we're different. Makara. <laughs> 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 I don't know what that, what that comes from. Which one? That one we learn in classes, but we don't say that. In German we say land. In Norwegian we say lam. In Swedish we say land. In Danish we say land. In Finnish we say ma. They're different. No. <laughs> no. How do you say it? Land. Yeah, <laughs> we say land. 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 L A N D. Yeah, I think so. yeah same. It's yeah. all the same. In Danish we have like a soft way to say it in many words. Right. In German we say Strand. In Norwegian we say Strand. In Swedish we say Strand. In Danish we say Strand. I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> in Finnish we say Randa. Oh wow. Randa. 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 Ah, Rand as in like the edge, right? Maybe? No? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, that could make yeah, sense, well, actually. That could mm -hmm. make sense. So, I think it's similar to like the last word, like you don't really pronounce the D. It's like stram. It's spelled like S-T-R-A-N-D. But yeah. we just say stram. Yeah. yeah. In German, the S-T is like a sh and in, in their languages is st. We spell it the same as in Norwegian, but we pronounce the D as like a pretty harsh and like Short sound like strand. In German we say Schlafzimmer. In Norwegian we say Soverum. 
In Swedish, we say sovrum. In Danish, we say soveværelse. In Finnish, we say makohuone. So in Finland, whatever we say, we like to ex- tell what it exactly is. So huone is a room, maku is to lay down. So it's the lay down room. Then we have sit down room, then we have eating room. <laughs> We yeah. just translated like sleeping room, so yeah. so yeah. room. Mm. In Danish, we can say rum, which is like room. But we can also say valse, that is also like a room. So we say sove valse, which means sleeping room as well. Yeah. But yeah. Some people say that in Norway too, like older people. Yeah, yeah. Could say that. Probably, yeah. Mm. Be different. I think as a Danish person, we would all know because we all know German. In German, we say kaffee. In Norwegian we say kaffe. In Swedish we say kaffe. In Danish we say kaffe. We're actually similar. Kaffe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Almost. Kaffe. 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 With an B in it. Yes. With oh, yeah. H too. Uh, well, in Norwegian we say K A F F E. In German too. Mm-hmm. It's the same in Danish too. Same. In Finnish, we like to write it different as well, <laughs> but it's K A H V I. Kahvi. 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 In German, we say Zuckerwatte. In Norwegian, we say Zuckerspin. In Swedish, we say Sockerwatte. I believe in Danish, we say Candy Floss, but I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Finnish, we say Hattara. Mm. It's like that thing, you know, sugar. So that's is like, it? You know, when you start to think, like, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think what you said is uh, sugar and then spinning, right? Yeah, sugar mm. spinning. So like spinning sugar. Mm. Yeah. And we say, yeah, sugar, cotton. Um, we say that too, but we could also say like, spoon that socke, like sugar, mm. it's spin spun. In German we say, tomato. In Norwegian we say, tomat. In Sweden we say, tomat. In Danish we say, tomate. In Finnish, we say tomati. Wow, you sounded almost German. Wow. Oh. <laughs> uh, I could hear some of us had an E in the end, mm-hmm. but in Danish, we say tomate without anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. in Norwegian too. It's yeah. no ending. It's like T O M A T. Swedish too. T O M A A T I. Oh, T O M A T. For us, it's the same. T O M A T E. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. Yes. Fun. <laughs> I, I felt like they were bullying me. <laughs> so everyone being the same and be like, okay, so what are you? <laughs> no, it's it's nice to be different, right? Yeah, we're all so yeah. basic. We're yeah. the same. You're yeah. just special. You, need, you know? It's fun. Yeah. Embrace always, your specialness. Like like when when people say like, oh, it's so cool, you can speak like so many languages, but I'm like, yeah, but Finnish is useless. Because like <laughs> nobody learn there's no reason to learn Finnish. And also I can't really communicate. Mm, I think uh, like a window. Because it Maybe. was very different in like certain areas for us. Like, mm-hmm. It's actually true, yeah. Yeah, I, I think the window was interesting that you guys had it same and you had it same. Yeah. So there was like two different but still similarities with yeah. each other. Yeah. yeah, I think we didn't have like a very difficult word, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> <laughs> Today we compared words from our languages. If you liked the video, please leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.